Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you, but it is a little bit different this time because it is all food items. This was a highly requested video from some of my subscribers who left me some comments on my last video and they wanted to see a all vegan food haul. So we found, my daughter and I went to, actually went to two stores and we found so many things. Um, we didn't buy everything because there's just so much. Uh, I did take a lot of footage in the store, so that will be all at the end, like always. Um, but I'm going to show you what we got, and I just want to preface by saying if there is anything that you know that maybe I missed an ingredient and it is not vegan, I apologize. But you know, let me know, leave me a comment down below. Um, we, you know, some things we already knew ahead of time, and some things we were looking at the ingredient list, you know, and sometimes it gets overwhelming looking at every little ingredient on every package. So, you know, leave me a comment down below if I overlooked something, you know, I wanna know for myself as well. Um, so let's get started and let me show you what we got. All right, so we're gonna start with some of the junk food, so to speak. Um, so they did have a ton of stuff, like I said, everything will be at the end. Um, but these are actually repeat buys. We have gotten these before and these are the butter rain cookies with which don't actually have butter in them it's just butter flavoring and we've gotten these before my husband really enjoys these as you know he's got that sweet tooth even though he isn't vegan he does enjoy these you don't have to be vegan to enjoy all these all of these items um, we also got the lemon bar cookies I got two packages I've never seen these before actually these are the Biscoff uh, there's six packs in here that are individually wrapped and they are basically the cookies that they make cookie butter from so those are uh, you know coincidentally vegan as well and then next this was actually on my wish list I had seen some other people hauling these and these are the ocean spray craisins and these are the 20% more free bags these are like the full-size bags that you see in the grocery store i've seen them for like 2.99 so i couldn't beat it for a dollar now there's the blueberry and one is the infused cherry and i picked up four bags of each because these are a popular item in my house as well great for a snack you can put it over oatmeal um, you know, so these will definitely end the date. Always check your dates, but most of the time um, everything's been fine when I've purchased it at Dollar Tree. These are good until May of 2019, but I'm sure they will be gone before then. Also picked up some of these Jumbo Jimbo Jumbo's Roasted Peanuts, and this is a huge bag. It's a one pound bag, and they are salted and roasted peanuts. You guys know my husband loves his peanuts, so I figured this was a great deal. I got two bags of those. I also spotted these, the chili lemon peanuts. I thought that would be something different for him to try. Then we have never had these before. This is the cashew snack mix. I thought this would be great, you know, for um, for a little bit, a little snack. And these are has cashews, peanuts, and the sesame chips. Then my daughter wanted some corn nuts. I know we have hauled these before. And then I hauled these in my last video as well. My, uh, my son really enjoyed them. These are the Sunkissed Smoothie, uh, smoothie uh, Fruit Juice Bars, No High Fructose Corn Syrup. That's why I really enjoy, you know, getting these for them because I know that they're not full of all that, you know, bad ingredients. They're a little bit better for them. And then back here we've got some pasta. Now, I did see some stores had some Barilla pasta as well. Um, the two the stores that I went to, did not we're all out of it but I have seen Barilla so they you know they do have the name brand pastas as well we're gonna give this one a try this is the Columbia it is a 50% more for free box let's see the total ounces is 24 ounces so that is a really good deal for a dollar and they ha and they had all kinds of like tomatoes and pizza sauces all kinds of um, you know, tomato, uh, you know, ready to go sauces. Uh, we really like this Hunt's fire roasted diced uh, with garlic. So I got one can of those. And just so you know, like I just wanted to also mention that sometimes some things are not the best deal at, in the Dollar Tree. So just be aware of that. Like as somebody who uses like the Ibotta app and the in coupons, um, you know, certain things you can get cheaper or even without coupons, you know, like some of the canned items, I could go to Walmart and get for 50 cents as opposed to a dollar. Um, so, you know, just be aware of your prices sometimes. And, you know, you can always check even you can even check on the apps, you know, if you don't if you're not in the store just to see what the prices are. 
and that's always a great, you know, great way to save as well. Um, I also saw this was new that I've noticed. Uh, this is the Wishbone Balsamic Vinaigrette. And it is the smaller bottle. It is eight ounces. And then also along the lines of the pasta, they had this gnocchi. And it is a pretty big pack. It is one pound as well, or 1.1 pounds as well. My daughter wanted to give that a try. She loves gnocchi. And I believe this is gluten-free as well, because sometimes they do have wheat in them, but this one does not. And then we picked up some cooking spray. I have never tried this one before. Um, if there's anything that we have not, you know, that like I said, most of the stuff we have not tried before, if you have tried it, let me know. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Uh, so I picked up this coconut cooking spray. And we also found this mojo marinade as well. And it is a citrus base. Let me turn it around here. I don't know if you can see any of those ingredients. Uh, but it's basically like an orange, uh, vinegar, garlic, uh, seasonings. And my daughter really loves, I do a simple, uh, just like a grilled uh, tofu for her. And I usually just put like salt and pepper and lemon juice. And we just thought this one might be something different that we could put on it and tr give it a try. And this is, I have seen this brand many times in the grocery store for a much higher price. And then we picked up, like I said, they had lots of canned, so many canned items, but like I said, be aware of what your prices are because some some things you can get cheaper in other stores. Uh, so this Hanover Brown Sugar Baked Beans is a big, one of the big cans. So this was definitely a good deal. This is one pound, 10 ounces. So, and this one doesn't have any sort of bacon or pork or anything in it. We did double check. And then we also got a can of sweet peas. I also picked up the 4C breadcrumbs, panko, uh, panko style, style breadcrumbs. Now, a lot of times I do make my own breadcrumbs from leftover stale bread or like plain cereals and things like that. But I just figured this was a great, uh, really great price, you know, because it is a name brand and I can just keep this on hand just in case. Then this I have been this was on my wish list as well, and I've seen other YouTubers hauling them as well as some other varieties. But the other varieties are not vegan, so just be aware of that if you are looking for specifically the vegan items. Uh, this is the Annie's to Organic Tomato Soup, and my son absolutely loves tomato soup. And I think I think my daughter might give this a try as well. She's not a big soup eater, but I think she's gonna going to try it. So we picked up, let me see, we picked up five of those. And I figured that would be great to have on hand for a quick, you know, quick lunch or, you know, quick di a dinner with a simple sandwich. So we got those. So we also found this lemon garlic herb pasta kit. Now it does come with the pasta and it comes with the lemon herb sauce. And you're supposed to add chicken to it, but obviously we won't do that. Um, so we'll probably just do it as is, just the pasta, or we could do like a vegan chicken with it or tofu. Um, but we just thought it'd be something different to try. And I did pick up two of them. So I also picked up a jar of the stuffed green olives. As some of you guys know, as my longtime subscribers, we buy these quite often. So that is a really great deal. I also picked up these true lemon uh they're just like little packets. It's just basically crystallized lemon. You can use, put it in your water, your tea. You can use it in recipes as well. If you're, you know, if you're out of lemons and you just need to add some lemon flavoring, these are great to have on hand. There are 12 packets in there. Also picked up a can of some chunk pineapple. They did have the rings as well, and that is from Libby's, which is a good uh, name brand. Also picked up some more of the silken tofu. I just could not pass it up. What a great deal. I usually pay about $1.69 for this on Vitacost, which Vitacost has good deals as it is, but this was, you know, this is such a steal. So picked up four of those. Then we picked up some of this. Uh, it's called, it's from Village Farms, which I've never heard of that brand before, but we'll see how it is. Instant oatmeal. And there are, is the maple and brown sugar flavor, and there are six packets. And then to go along with that, we also got the West Soy Plain Low-Fat Soy Milk. They also had a vanilla almond milk as well from um, a different brand. I will, like I said, it will be at the end. I will show it in the, um, the end of the video when I show all the other items that they had in the store. And then they did have a ton of freezer items, and I only picked up a few. 
Uh, so I picked up a package of this picked, picked Sweet Farms Steamables Cut Corn. And these are those bags that you can just pop in the microwave and steam it in the bag. It's ready to go. Also picked up these broccoli cuts. And then I have seen many YouTubers hauling these, so we thought we would give these a try. These are the traditional vegetable spring rolls. And let's see, they say they cook as little as two minutes in the microwave. Microwave, bake, or fry. There are 10 pieces, three rolls per serving. And the ingredients seem very, you know, pretty simple, which I, you know, I always find that a great thing that there's not a lot of additives and things like that. And there's the whole nutritional la label if you're interested. And then we picked up some soft pretzels. My daughter wanted to give these try a try for a snack. So there is six in there. And then the last thing was this Arita Ready in Five Extra Crispy uh, crispy Crown Shredded Potatoes. Now, this is like a single serving. Probably could get a big bag of these for cheaper, like in another store. Uh, but for a quick uh, breakfast or lunch, you know, or even a snack for, you know, for your growing teenagers, um, you know, this is a really great, you know, really great find because they can just, you know, throw it in the microwave and it is ready to go. So that was everything for my first vegan Dollar Tree grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that we found and stay tuned to the end. There will be more items that you will see that were in the store that we didn't get. I am also going to be working on some recipes for you guys using all, incorporating all of these groceries. So you can just, you can see how to use them into your, uh, you know, your daily, your meals and everything. Um, so I really hope you enjoyed watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, hit that bell button so you know when I am uploading. Leave your comments below. I love hearing from you guys as always. And until next time, I will see you soon. Bye guys.